Welcome back to Sunless Skies. In the last episode, we went to Hybris for the first time in a long time and found it almost entirely deserted. Things had changed there a lot, and there were some odd new types of fungus as well. And that's what we need to do for the next part of finding out what happened on Hybris, is take our fungal sample to the nature reserve and see if one of the researchers, probably the phlegmatic researcher, I'm assuming, is see if they can figure out anything about this new type of fungus. And, uh, well, to get over to the nature reserve, I don't want to go up through Faith's Fall, because, I mean, that place is creepy as hell. So I guess I'll go down here, but I want to see if there's anything back here. Is this just a solid mass of land, or is there actually a pathway back there? If there is a pathway, you either get to it here or here. So I'm going to go over here. Uh, there's no supplies or anything to buy here, because there's nobody to sell them. So I'll just go with my four fuel and five supplies. Should be plenty to get to the nature reserve. The incautious driver's fingers twitch in protest at Hybris's sleepy atmosphere. Ooh, Scriver over there. Do I want to actively engage it? Yeah, what the heck? I got a good chip and good weapons and my hole's in good shape. There's two. Oh, we'll get better at aiming with this weapon later. Ooh. Stripper for repairs. Uh, we should... Well, I assume we can come back later, right? We should leave that until we're done with the fight, because we might have more to repair. You give the order and put the wreck behind you. The crew remain tense. Will that be their fate? One unlucky day? Maybe that does finish our encounter with the wreck. Oh my god. Well, this is just a mess. Nobody, like, none of them care about the Marauder. Marauder cares about them, sort of. We can recover its weaponry. That's a pretty rare event. I don't, like, I'm not going to use the weapon, I'm sure, but, uh, maybe it's worth a decent amount? Is it the same weapon? It is. I don't know why I keep trying to get close to him. Yeah, this fight's just gone terribly. Wow, I'm rusty with combat and these new weapons. To be fair, I did just wake up from a nap like a half hour ago, maybe 20 minutes ago.
another success. Well, that will pay for the repairs and then some. You know, last time I came across this area, did I mention that really looks like a hand? That fungus looks like a hand gripping around that thing? Like, that's the thumb. Those are the fingers. Uh. Ooh. What's all that up there? And it looks like there is a pathway down there. Yeah, I can't go back to that ship, but we got a fungal fragment and some general loot. Oh, this is actually a time when I might want to harvest it or scrape it for supplies because I'm sort of low on that stuff. Um, yeah, let's harvest it. Stoke is sure you can be burnt for fuel. 72% chance. Success. Gained one fuel. You supervise a bevy of stokers as they get to work with little sets of shaving knives. You have to send the engineers away who insist on offering comment but refuse to touch the fungus for contractual reasons. <laughs> the lichen appears in at least seven shades. Experimentation with matches convinces you only the limpid turquoise and vitriolic purple shades should be put in your boilers. Limpid turquoise and vitriolic purple. I love those phrases to describe color. Ten whole, nice. Oh, I'm super curious what's back here. Little mystery alley. There's another hand, hand fungus creeping around. Mold pastures. Wait, what? Oh, I thought that was a new... I mean, it's still almost as big of a thing. I thought that was a new station. It's not, but there's a transit relay? I'm sorry? Where does that go? Because I know the transit relay to Albion is supposed to be like right behind Port Prosper. Although I haven't been there. But that means this doesn't go to Port Prosper, so where does it go? I mean, I guess it has to go to Eletheria, right? Because this goes to the Blue Kingdom. This goes to Albion. This has to go to Eletheria. The reach is like the center between all the places then, because there's four places. Eleutheria Transit Relay, yeah. I love the music that popped up when I got here. Wow, what kind of a place is Eleutheria? It must be almost completely wild, right? Because think about it. Albion basically has Port Prosper. I mean, Albion is basically the port, or, or rather the relay of Port Pos Prosper. People live right next to it. People come out of it all the time. Albion's where London is. It's like this huge hub of activity coming from Albion. It's like it's, it's alive. It's, it has settlement just outside of it. But Eleutheria is just in some creepy, weird place off to the side with absolutely nothing around it but a colony full of disappeared octogenarians, was it? I think that word means older generation, right? Like, the older version of millennial? Octogenarian? But yeah, this, like, there's nobody around it at all? The place must be just wild. Those symbols... Are those correspondence? A stone edifice, scintillant with sigils, yeah, is encased in a contrivance of steel and brass. 
This is a Sing Jenkins relay, allowing transport via a loophole in some cosmic mandate to a far-flung district of heaven. This one leads to Eleutheria, a place of revolutionaries and malcontents. It's little used. That excites me so much. This excites me for two reasons. One, it's little used, so what's there? It's gotta be extra exciting. Two, revolutionaries? Hands up, that's me. Buy a travel permit. Well, there's a lot you could do here. Um, let's see. So for buy a travel permit, the superintendent eyes you sullenly from behind his bronzewood kiosk. Once you have a permit, you'll be able to travel to Eletheria via the relay. How much is that? 800 sovereigns. That's pretty pricey. I'm definitely not going to buy it right now because that's almost all my money. But it sounds like once you have the permit, it's not like a one-time thing. You could just keep going, right? I think. But it sounds like there's some other things we could do to get a permit. Yes, acquire a travel permit with a couple visions of heaven and some ministry approved literature. The superintendent is bored. Give him something inspiring and something good to read to make his deployment pass more quickly. Or one savage secret. Uh. Oh, wait, I I'm not sure why I can't do this, but this one's different from the others. The workers here suffer from unremitting tedium. Relieve their ennui and they'll send you on your way. Be warned, you may not be able to return from Eleutheria for some time. Ugh. Uh, I don't want to be trapped there for an indeterminate time. Oh, that's what this one says, too. May not be able to return from Eleutheria for some time. So... Yeah, I guess you either have to buy the travel permit just with money the normal way, or by kind of plying the superintendent to get it a bit cheaper. Those are the two ways to get a travel permit, and once you once you have it, there's two ways to actually travel to Eleutheria. Both of those also cost something. You actually have to have the permit to do these. And it's going to cost, on top of that, Savage Secret or Caddies of Dry Tea. So, yeah, so I think they're just trying to make it so that you don't just go back and forth between zones all the time. Like, you don't just, like, grab a bunch of trade goods from one place and go to the other and just keep going back and forth and back and forth. I think they want to make sure that once you get to an area, you kind of stay there for a while to make it worth it. So I won't be able to return for some time. Just indeterminate no matter what. That's... Hmm. What is some time? A week? A month? A year? I better make sure I bring enough money with me. I guess I won't need to worry about bringing my stuff with me because I'd be able to access my bank even in Eleutheria. I, I think I should be able to. Assuming there is a bank in Eleutheria. But you do want to have enough money. Anyway, I'll remain in the reach for now. Goodbye. You put the edifice behind you and head back towards the feuds and fortunes of the reach. The stars wink prettily. I did not expect to find that transit relay here. I was, I was expecting to find it in either the Blue Kingdom or Albion. I wonder if either Blue Kingdom or Albion or Eleutheria has gates to any of the others. Obviously, they'll all go back to the Reach because the Reach goes to them, but maybe they also have connections between each other. So it's just nestled in here. Well, there's likely nothing over there then. But I'm actually going to go back down that way because I don't want to go through Faith's Fall, so I'll meet you back in this area and we'll check out this. Ooh, we have another scribe. <laughs>
I keep overshooting where they're gonna be because this weapon just travels so fast. Failure. Got a bunch of twigs, 76 sovereigns. Strip the engine for materials, perfect. One more of those and I'll be back to full. Okay, we're down here now. Let's see if there's anything nestled in this corner. I'm thinking probably not. Oh, is that another Marauder? Oh, wow. Okay, there actually might be something here. Also, man, I am low on fuel and supplies. I probably should turn back right about now. This might actually just continue all the way down here. Um, I'll go a little bit further. Like, a tiny, tiny bit further. Okay. Yes, it looks like that actually connects up with all this stuff down here. Good to know. I'm gonna head back now. Touch of the skies. Oh, without even having our tear at 50%. Ooh, so normally I would just dispense an additional bit of supplies, but I can't really afford that. 56%. Would that be enough to get me to the circus? No, I don't think it would be. Send them back to work. 12% chance. <laughs> or confine them to quarters. Ah, uh, crap. Yeah, Elizabeth just has to confine them to quarters. She doesn't have the supplies to spare. Gain terror, lost a crew? Yes. They're no good to you in this state. You can find them to quarters and resolve to discharge them at the next port. The atmosphere aboard is subdued for a time, but it's understood that these things happen in the sky. The Heaven's Price, they call it. Ah, oh, hello. I've always wanted to fire both at the same time. Damn, is it powerful. It's a lot of damage real fast. Captain's cabin. Some juicy. Yep. Two, two bits of juicy. <laughs> Ooh, there's another one up here. So I've noticed something flashing. Notice there's like a little white thing that keeps flashing here. Okay, now it's red because I'm near. But I noticed it flashing even back when I wasn't even near the enemies. It was very, very, very faint. But I think it was pointing towards that last marauder. So maybe it points towards enemies? The nearest enemy or something? Vaguely gesturing at their direction? Jeez. <laughs> 
Jesus Christ, that is just not fair for them. I almost feel bad. Ooh, strip it for materials, 100%. Nice. Another one. you have some more hole for me. You don't. An unfortunate occurrence. Ah, it's cracked. It's not very unfortunate, honestly. I've kind of been waiting for that. What have we gotten this time? An empty husk. You arrived to find the egg shattered into half a dozen pieces. Sat up against a crate beside it, a crew member is staring off into the distance. You rouse them gently and ask if they saw what was in the egg. They nod as their eyes start to moisten. Comrade, their voice is hushed. I want to go home. When you probe as to where their home is, tears start to roll down their cheeks. I can't... I, I don't... They can't work in this state. You release them from their duties. They can leave the locomotive when you next make port. Oh... This one contained... Terror. <laughs> I'm sorry, crew. What was in that egg? Hmm. Should I sell the eggs? I really don't want to. Those occurrences are so fascinating. I'm just wondering, what would happen if I... What would happen if I just stored the egg... Um, in my bank and didn't take it with me on the ship, right? I wouldn't get that random event. Sorry, I tried to not get killed by these tackety scouts. They're not the best drivers. Ooh, wait. What's this over here? Homestead? I saw it on the map. Ah. Puck marked Homestead. Nothing to trade them. Leave swiftly. Okay. What was I saying? Oh yeah, if I put the egg in the bank, what's gonna happen? Maybe just literally nothing? Because it has no chance to crack open. I'm not gonna get that random event when it's not even on my ship, right? I guess it would just sit there and do nothing. So I guess really the only two things you can do with it, if you want, Unless you want to just store it to maybe trade to somebody for something. I'm sure there's some quest that's going to take one. But unless you want to do that, it sounds like your options are either take it with you, wait for it to break, see what happens, or sell it. I'm a little bit worried I'm going to run out of supplies before I get to New Winchester, even though New Winchester is like almost within arm's reach. Uh, 12%, 11%, 10%, crew, hold on, please don't start cannibalizing. Okay? You can make it. I swear, you can make it. And we dock with literally 1% remaining. <laughs> Jesus. <sighs> Alright, the usual things, fully repair. I'm not going to get more crew. 14 out of 16 is fine. Oh, more literature for Trader's Wood. I keep needing literature. I probably get it in Albion, because that's where London is and it's ministry approved literature. Ooh, I can do something that I didn't even count on, uh, but before that, let me sell my old weapons, because I'm never going to use them again, right? They're so inferior to what I already have, and it's not like I'm going to get a ship that has 10 weapons on it and just need to fill out the slots with something. Oh, can I not even sell the like makeshift weapon that I got from the Marauders? They won't take it, will they? And I have it on me. I have two of them. Wait, did I just buy some? Oh god, I just bought some. I, I just bought... Fuck. <laughs> well, uh, I just lost like 200 Sovereign. Let's pretend that didn't, didn't happen. Maybe I can sell it then. Yes, I can. See? It's fine.
a net profit from that. Anyway, if we go to town, we can do something that I didn't even think I'd be able to do because it doesn't mention it in the quest. But remember, we went to uh, Hybris. People were gone. Next thing to do is go to the nature reserve. But we can consult Madame Lumiere on the fungus you found at Hybris. She was filming the very same mushrooms you found, you've since found all over the empty colony. Madame Lumiere is delighted to see you. She presents you with a selection of slides from her company's latest films. I'm even funding theater now, she says, showing a color production of Hamlet staged on the ramparts of the most, most serene mausoleum. So many experiences to capture, so little time. Eventually, you bring the conversation around to Fungus. She studies your sample intently. I think I can help you, but first, would you be a dear and check up on a production for me? It's out on Lustrum. They've been dif uh, there have been difficulties. I'd go, but I don't have a ninja anymore. Okay, fine. It's interesting that I can do this, even though it doesn't mention it in the quest. I guess I should still go to the nature reserve. All right, well, let's get some desperately needed supplies. Turn in some port reports. Can probably affect the balance of power in the reach, yes. I'm still beloved at 171. They're desperate. Tackities are thriving. Okay, well, I was going to go to the nature reserve before, but now I want to go to Lustrum. Unless... Hmm, should I finally see if this hooks up up here with the nature reserve? Maybe I should go to the nature reserve, go up, and use that as an excuse to go explore over here, hoping it comes out this way, and then I can go to Lustrum. That sounds good. Yeah, okay, so to the nature reserve. Hmm, I have a hunch the bees may have had something to do with this vessel being destroyed here. <laughs> The Matala. Enter through the yawning tear and the whole partial success. Ah, right. What do we want? Money, munitions, supplies, fuel. Um, I'll take fuel. Oh, we lost a crew. The engine is cold and clogged with ash, but you find untapped barrels of coal and carry them back to your locomotive. No sooner are you back aboard than the wreck splits apart, spilling its remaining contents into the sky. It's only then that a headcount reveals your one short. Sorry, and we also gained 10 tear. Matala. Matala. That sounds Finnish. Hold on, let me ask my Finnish wife. Huh, okay, apparently it's not Finnish. <laughs> Look at the bees knock around little bits of debris. You know, one of the things I did is do a U-turn and go back to New Winchester when I was halfway to the nature reserve to get some munitions because I forgot that I need them to try to, like, help the phlegmatic researcher take back the place or something. I think we're going to go on, like, an expedition into the jungle and find out what's been, what's been eating all the other researchers. Figuratively, not literally, but they've all gone a bit... Uh, well, seems like they all have a case of the brain fungus. So I went back to get munitions, but that ship that we just passed actually had an opportunity to get munitions, so... Well, you never know. Couldn't know that would happen.